So the other day, someone asked me, what do you mean by peak performance? And to be honest, this caught me a bit off guard because despite this term being part of this YouTube channel's name, I've never actually taken the time to explain it. So let's explain what this term means to me and also give you the belief that you're able to reach peak performance. So let me tell you a story. This is Elliot. He's a pretty quick runner. And this is Kate. She's also a runner, but not as quick. I mean, it's all right, like... And let's say they're both running the same marathon. Elliot is obviously gonna finish faster than Kate. He's charging down the tarmac with the goal of not only winning the race, but also breaking the world record. Whereas Kate just has the goal of finishing under four hours. And let's say on the day, Elliot is just not up to par. His sleep has been off, he's got a bit of a dodgy stomach and he ends up finishing the race in two hours and 15 minutes, around 15 minutes slower than he was planning. But Kate, she ends up smashing it. She slept like a baby the night before. There was no problems with her fueling both before and during the race. And she ends up cruising past the finish line in three hours and 59 minutes on the dot. Despite Elliot finishing an hour and 45 minutes before Kate, if you were to ask both of them if they put in a peak performance, Kate would say, absolutely. And Elliot would say, no. You see, peak performance in Myers is something that's often misconceived. When a lot of people hear this term, they think about the absolute elites. They think of the fastest, the strongest, or most dominant performers. And that stretches across all domains, whether you're an athlete, a student, an artist, or a professional. But the truth is peak performance is not reserved for the absolute best. It's actually for everyone. By definition, peak performance is a state of mind and body where an individual is performing at their absolute best. Notice the key word in that sentence, there. It's that moment where everything comes together, where all of the training, hard work, and preparation pays off for that individual. That's why Kate was a peak performer on the day of that hypothetical marathon that we just described and why the fastest man ever was not. The truth is peak performance is for everyone, whether you're an absolute beginner or a seasoned pro, anyone can achieve this state. The key is understanding what it looks like for you, what it takes to get there, and what are the necessary steps to make it happen. And I think this is why many of us can put off big goals or aspirations because we kid ourselves into thinking that they're reserved for only those with the most talent or the most potential. This is the reason why I've put off running my first marathon, which I'm finally gonna do this year. But for a good three years or so, I've put off doing this because deep down I've been scared for two reasons. One, it's a long way to run. And two, I've only wanted to run a marathon when I feel like I can get an impressive time. And I'll be honest in saying I've put off this goal because of a fear of failure, because there's so much that could go wrong on race day. Bruh. But from reassessing this idea of peak performance, I've come to realize that it is fundamentally a personal thing. And the marathon is the best example, both literally and metaphorically, of just running your own race. Some marathons have 40,000 people running them, and there's maybe five to 10 who could actually win the race. So why else do the tens of thousands of other runners do it? Because they've got their own reasons, goals and motivations for pushing themselves to a higher level. Their only competition is their self. And that itself is the hallmark of a peak performer, someone who is obsessed with becoming a better version of themselves every single day. And I'm saying all this because I bet there's been times in your life where you've thought, oh, I can't or shouldn't do that because there's a million people better than me at it. Or I'm a complete beginner and I'm not any good at this. You've thought that greatness in that space is only reserved for those at the top of the pyramid. Well, let me tell you something, it's not. It's for everyone. It's for you, me, and anyone else who wants to see what they're capable of. If for one person that's running a three hour marathon and another person running a five five hour marathon, that's great. They can both be peak performers. If for one person it's getting an A in a paper and another person getting a C in a paper, again, that's completely fine. Both of those people can be peak performers. So now you know peak performance is for everyone. How do you actually go about achieving it? Well, if it was easy, we'd all be smashing it 100% of the time. But the reality is peak performance is not something that's attained frequently. Back to the example of marathon running, most professionals will only run two marathons a year because getting to the point of being in peak condition is something incredibly draining and not something sustainable without your mind or body breaking down. But that doesn't mean you can't work towards peak performance every day. And that encompasses so many different things. So things like training, practice sessions, drills, rehearsals, role plays, research, all of those kinds of things. Putting in a peak performance only comes from doing the necessary work on these things first. But it's also all the other add-ons, things like good nutrition, sleep, recovery, and minimizing distractions. But here's the thing, doing those things day after day, week after week, month after month, it's just hard. It takes its toll. So what can you do to stick to all of those things that go into the mixing pot of those few peak performances that you have to put in each year? Well, what I believe is that it all comes down to your mindset and psychology. And that's why I've made loads of videos on various mental skills. These are tools that are super accessible and super powerful for anyone wanting to perform their absolute best, not only when it counts, but day to day through all the highs and the lows. 
the periods of self-doubt and those times that you want to throw in the towel. If you learn these skills and apply them to your routines, then you maximize your chances of putting in a peak performance on game day. So if you're fairly new here, check out some of these videos. And if you're one of the OG subscribers, then have a quick refresher on some of these. I'll link the most useful ones in the description of this video. And let me know in the comments what peak performance means to you, and I'll see you in the next one.